Mm -mm -mm. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video and I appreciate you guys for tuning in for another video For showing love on the last video as always as you guys do I am gonna record Or vlog the Puerto Rico trip. So this is probably gonna be like cut up into like two vlogs Who knows it just depends on how much footage I get so we'll see what's up how it goes I'll probably vlog a couple days here this and that but I am doing last-minute packing <laughs> Yep. Well, I mean, it's okay. Not really last minute because um, right now it's 10 a.m. Our flight's not till 10 p.m., but we got to board at 9, so technically we got a couple hours still. It's going to be me and like 11 of us of like eight of them. You guys already know who they are. And the two of them, I don't think you guys have met yet on the vlog. I'm not sure, but it's going to be a dope, dope trip either way. Um, it is a little cloudy right now. It stopped raining. I checked the weather app at Puerto Rico and apparently it's raining over there. Hopefully it's not when we get there, we don't know. I'm hella excited for this trip. But like I said, I'm doing last minute packing. <laughs> I got my pants over there, some shirts, shorts, another pair of pants and another short, short, short shirts and all. And then I'm ironing right now. Um, I think there is an iron at the Airbnb we're staying at, but I just wanted to iron my clothes because it was wrinkly. I don't like it. I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna go to the mall pick up a couple t-shirts like dress up shirts because I think we are gonna go out clubbing <laughs> and then uh, I am probably gonna buy a fresh pair of all white Air Forces just because I love to have a fresh pair of all white Air Forces you just gotta throw that in the fit all white cokes is a must because they're all having a beautiful amazing day so far hit the like button for your boy and if you guys are new hit the subscribe button and then be part of the family and uh, come on this trip with me so you don't want to miss out also, one thing I wanted to show you, or at least mention to you guys, why am I zooming in? Uh, I wanted to mention to you guys, my gloss black kidney grill came in. I don't know if I told you guys this, I don't think I did. But yeah, my black kidney grill, all gloss black is finally here. I'm not going to install it today, obviously. I'm going to install it when I come back from Puerto Rico. And I buy a couple more parts. So, I still want to buy a couple more pieces. And, uh... Yeah, just wanted to show you guys that I did buy it and it, and it arrived. It arrived. Uh, bro, why is it keep doing that? Like, it does not want to focus on anything right now. There you go, finally. So we are in the M340i now. Here. We are on our way to the mall. I'm gonna go to the mall just to pick up a couple t-shirts, little items, maybe some, like I said, the all-white Air Forces if I can find any. And um, yeah. And I'm pretty much done packing, just gonna go see if I can find anything, come back, go meet up with the homie Yuli at his house, and we should dip to the airport later tonight. Boys, I just came back from the mall, and I copped this tea while I was there. Positive, positive state of mind. It's fire. I liked it because it was that little pink tie dye with a big happy smiley face, and there's nothing on the back, yeah. Nothing on the back. And then I did want to, I wanted to buy a pair of glasses. Got that. Bought some Azumis. 20 bucks. I was like, fuck it, why not? Check it out, check it out. Don't I look like Charlie of the Chocolate Factory? Come on. I also bought these. I couldn't get all white ones because I couldn't find my size, so I went neutral with the white and black. Nice, simple. Goes with everything. So, fuck it. Got these. And uh, yeah, pretty much done packing. Now it's just. Waiting for the boys to give the go signal, meet up with Yuli, and then we are I'm not wait to the airport. Uh, Puerto Rico vibes, dude. Oh, yeah. Puerto Rico vibes. How is it? Solid, solid. Damn, dude, where the airport is? Airport gang shit. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why are you running like that? Oh, the boy Eric, everybody here. Everybody's camera. tucking in, dude. Because I saw the camera and I got shot. I know you did. Hella shot. You were going to recognize me, bro. <laughs> camera <laughs> Celebrity over here. <laughs> Fifty more percent. Dun 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 dun. We're in the plan. No internet connection. We gonna make it safe, baby. Second flight. 
we landed in Miami. And, uh, this boy's getting shirtless, and we're now on our way to Puerto Rico. Yeah, no, it's supposed to be. So we got too hot. We got too I hot in the airplane. Yeah. PR if you like not listening to that bunny baby like and PR baby and we got our van but we're switching it out because I had two cockroaches I didn't care about them but Gabe did so we're swapping it out Officially in Puerto Rico. Um, I didn't record much because we were all still settling in, but this is basically the master bedroom. Right? This is the master bedroom, but this is not my bedroom. This is a uh, Farrah and Gabe's bedroom. But they got a nice bathroom. Must be nice. Wow, wow. Little private thing. I've got the outside. Clothed it inside with towels. We got Farrah. <laughs> We got another room, two beds with high beds. Oh my gosh, it's a <laughs> Oh my god, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You talking about? Then we got this bedroom. Then we got over there. No. Then we got another solo bedroom. Bosty staying in here. Bathroom. Your kitchen. Living room with the copyright music. And then we're outside, dude. And then we're going out here. And we're following this guy. Boy, just walking here. <laughs> you know, taking in the crib, just NTV Chris. <laughs> check it out, check it out. NTV Chris. Hey, bro, this is a vibe. What the fuck? <laughs> this is way better. This is a vibe. Oh, shit. Hey, this is pretty sick. It's pretty dope. You're gonna push me off? You're gonna push me off? Yeah, we're gonna push you off. <laughs> hey, jump in! Damn, look at this view though, man. We're in the middle of a jungle, dude. Just look at this. Puerto Rico. We about to eat some rich chicken. This is rich kitchen. There. Llegamos al Walmart. I know you guys hear all those damn crickets. So much stuff, bro. This is insane. We got back from Walmart and uh, we ordered a couple of stuff. We got a couple of stuff. Now we're back at the crib chilling. And then tomorrow we are kayaking and we are. Get her! Get her! And Tuesday we're going zip lining. So it should be fun. Should be dope. And then I don't know what we're doing Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. But we're just gonna see what's up. Apparently Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is supposed to rain, but we don't know how hard. But hopefully it doesn't, and we get to enjoy this week here. But yeah, we we about to see. Hey, uh, one more time, please. One more time for the camera. One more time. One more time. One more time. Hey, yo, why are you looking at them cheeks like that, though? <laughs> Look at the spotter. Puerto Rico, man. Puerto Rico. Bro, it's crazy out here. Everything. It's beautiful. First night was beautiful. Dope. Gotta settle it in and just basically relax with everybody. And today is the day we go kayaking, but kayaking at night, which I've never done. But apparently, we're kayaking at night. And tomorrow we're ziplining. 
I know they wanted to go to the beach today, so I think we're gonna go to the beach too. But I don't know what exactly we're gonna be really be doing today other than kayaking, but uh, a couple of people still asleep. But we shall see. I should probably speak Spanish in this vlog, huh? <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We are going through the mighty, mighty jungle. Oh, this is where. <laughs> oh shit! So much mud. Careful, guys. It's so careful. muddy. Oh whoa 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 whoa! The legs went cross and wobble. Look at there. There's a tag. I'm gonna go touch it. Bro, do you hear all that though? It sounds like I'm at Universal Studios. Yeah. I'm going to the Jurassic Park tram. <laughs> but we were at some beach a little over there. Like I was showing you guys, but we ended up coming over here because they found a nicer spot. So I guess we're going over here. But it's like all through this whole mud of <laughs> trail of mud, so it's a little tough right now. But so far, bro, this is a little experience. And this is, oh, okay, cool. What? What happened? That's a bird's nest. Oh, wow. A bird's nest. I don't fuck with that bird, right? <laughs> no, I just stepped in fat mud right now. Boom, boom, boom. Bro, if we come back at night, it's gonna be so hard. Because <laughs> we don't have, like, all we have is our phone flashlights. We got signal here though, that's all I did. <laughs> I had brought my portable, but I forgot the wire. <laughs> the charger wire, yeah, I know, my dumb ass. I know we saw these, these two people, and they're telling us right now that the water where we're headed to is at least like up to our waist. That's how deep it is right now. Which is crazy. And the tides are pretty strong. So, we're about to see how strong these shits is. Hey, 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 no running, no running. Nah, it's good. See? It's beautiful out here, man. It's real beautiful. I feel like I'm in a Bad Bunny music video right now. I feel like I'm in his house. I'm in his home right now. Bruto Bad Bunny, baby. I like the Puerto Rican accents they have in this. I just like it. I don't know what, what about that, the accent they have and the way they speak is just fast and, and, and I like it. I don't know. I'm like, I'm like, all right, say later, say later, my bad. Gracias, our team. <laughs> but damn, man, it was beautiful over here. But these waves is out of control right now, man. These tides is crazy. Look at this. Look, look, look at the oh my. Oh, Jays, but so beautiful. You feel me? So beautiful, but so, damn. Look at these models. <laughs> oh shit, fucking dude. Look at these guys. Look at these dudes. All getting Instagram pictures. They need a third. All right, so we headed back, and it's, it's getting kind of dark now. It's about to get real scary in that jungle. <laughs> uh, I'm scared. No, but it's gonna be. It should be interesting because it's about to get dark, bro. They're over there getting these stuff ready so we can dip, and then by the time we're like in there getting out, it's already gonna be dark. Cause it gets dark here like at 6:30, and it's already 6:15, and it'll take us 15 minutes to literally get out. But we're still on our way to kayaking, so we gotta go back to the van, head to the kayak spot, and then we got night kayaking. So. I'm gonna try to record that on my phone, not my camera. Bro, it sounds like someone's eating behind me. In the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just see a monkey pop out? Whoa, give me your stuff. Oh! My Caesar, no. If y'all get it, y'all know what I mean. And we made it out. <laughs> Isn't it with my shoes though? The water is warm though. It is not cold, it is warm. Oh, wait. 
I see this water is a little cold. <laughs> Not too cold. Another beautiful day in Puerto Rico. Gorgeous. And I didn't even get to record the night vlog. I mean the night kayaking just because I didn't take my phone because I was scared it was going to get wet. Nor did I take the camera because I was scared it was going to get wet. And was I right? Would it have gotten wet? Hell yeah, it would have gotten wet. I was soaked. I was soaked everywhere. Even if I had a bag here, it would have gotten wet. So I was kind of not risking it. I didn't have like a bag that was waterproof. So I said nah. Didn't get to record the whole experience, but it was super dope. Super dope. Water was super warm, so shit was so cool. Hold up. Yeah, water was super warm, so it felt real, real good just to even like jump in, get in the kayak. It was super, super fun though. If you come here with friends, a couple, anything, that is a very good therapeutic thing to do with your partner because it helps build communication, patience. It, it does a lot, bro. So you gotta really communicate when you're doing it together with somebody, bro. It was fun, it was fun. It was me and Marilyn. Marilyn was fucking a crackhead at it, always screaming, but it was fun. We got through it. She just kept screaming, get me the fuck off. And we eventually finished, so she's just a ass for that. But. Yeah, now we are going zip lining. So hopefully I can record. But I think I'm gonna get my little meditation going on again because I didn't get it to do it. So I might do it right now. That was a great meditation session. This is day two so far. So I've gotten two days in a row with meditating and it's a great way to start my day. I've always been into meditating and just working on myself and you know, if you guys are interested, bro, I highly recommend doing some meditations, coming out, you know, getting some fresh air, starting the morning right, set your intentions, start your day, you know, start setting little goals of what you're going to do throughout the whole day and it'll make you feel a lot better, it'll make you feel like you're aligned with your day and what you're going to get done with and overall it's going to feel good. Self work, baby, is what you gotta do. That's where we're zip lining from. Oh, shit. We arrived. Well, that's where we zip lining from. That little tower up there. I left my camera in the car, but we're all about to oh, we get ready. This shit is on my balls. This guy tightened it up. I was like, ooh! <laughs> Before. Oh, you like that can't zoom in, What's good? Another beautiful day. Another beautiful day. I didn't. I had to use my friend Ulysses' zipline footage to show you guys the little zipline thing. But bro, that shit was sick. And I was just scared I was gonna drop my phone because of, when we got to that big zipline where we're like going down, I started spinning like crazy. So I got a little like, bro. I'm, I just was a little scared I was gonna drop my phone and I was like, fuck. But then I ended up regretting not taking a video with my phone. So, there goes that. We had another beautiful day in Puerto Rico. We had another beautiful day. So like, every morning I wake up, I'm like, damn, this thing is so beautiful. Just look at this, man. Look at this. Stop. Yuli! <laughs> Yeah, dude. I don't know, but this is a nice little look. Wait, how does my how does it look? Wait. Yuli, face over here, real quick. Turn around. Fruity drink for a fruity friend. I <laughs> Beautiful, be off. 
I'm a liar. Got in the water. Damn, the water feels so good. It's so warm, bro. The water is so damn warm. At first, it's cold for like a quick second and then it's warm. The only way you get cold is if you're over like, once you get out. Like, once you get out, it's cold. But other than that, the water feels so good. Bro. So good. Got the whole squad right over there. Look at this, I spotted an IS-500 at Puerto Rico. Man, this thing's a monster, bro. If y'all know what this is, it's a V8 monster right there, baby. Damn, then we got a Corolla. Pa, 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 pa. Damn, this shit's clean too, though. Toyota right here, gang. Toyota gang. He's got the new Camry wheels, too. We in San Juan, Puerto Rico. We just had a couple of drinks right now. Um, and shit. I am so feeling litty. Like a titty right now. I say out of one to ten, I'm like a seven. So I'm pretty chilling right now. I think we're back on our way to the hotel and uh, we got shower up. And I don't know what we're gonna do. We probably might drink again. I don't know. That's what we've been doing all night. But it's been this morning. We're in a Puerto Rico souvenir shop, dudes. I copped them two mugs. One for my mom and one for my dad, and a bracelet. Which I like a lot, so I got that too. And uh, yeah, we're in basically in San Juan, Puerto Rico right now. But we got one more day here, and then we're off. So back to the casa. Well, we're actually gonna go to New York for like three hours because our flight is a layover, and then yeah. But so far, it's been chilling. Oh shit! I literally told them, yo, drop me off at the airport. Because they want to go to the museum. I said, took me to the airport. I'll chill there. I'm better safe than sorry. Like, bro, things like this scare me a little bit. Because, um, you know, I'm not from here. I'm like a cousin to the LA weather. Not hurricanes. Like, last night was raining stupid hard. And the rain just keeps coming and going right now. But... Hell to him up, I didn't know am I trying to deal with this shit. The power went out, so we got no water, no power right now. Everything went out. You guys saw the little emergency alert. And, um, like I said, I'd rather just be in the airport. Hopefully they got power and shit, and I could be chilling in there. But even if they don't have power, at least I know I'll be, like, on the level ground and shit. Not all the way to hell up here. Possibly getting stuck up here or some shit. You know, I'm just, you know, making assumptions. But, hope none of that happens. Hopefully we make it down safe. I make it to the airport safe. We call it day. <laughs> and we leave tomorrow too. So hopefully our flight don't get delayed either because I was parking the sock. Hey Robert, yeah, you did, but I was like 160 without the book that I wanted. Ah. I was like, no. <laughs> I just got this. Shout out Jackie. Shout out it's Jackie. It's my wife because it has the dabbles. <laughs> <laughs> we at the airport. We're at the airport. Unfortunately, we're, we're stuck here. We came a day earlier because there's a hurricane coming. <laughs> oh, this is scary because we're scared, so we're sleeping on the floor we're here. Scared. We're not trying to get we stranded in the Airbnb. <laughs> bottles of water. God damn. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You okay? That's crazy. That's it? That's it. <laughs> so we are stuck in a classroom right now. We are in shelter. We couldn't stay in the airport because it was gonna get too crazy apparently. So they moved us to a classroom. So that's what we're all doing here right now. It sucks. But this is what happens when there's a hurricane at a tropical island. So you guys ever wanna come to Puerto Rico? Never come during hurricane season. Never. Alright, so as you guys saw the video ended there. Um, just because so much stuff happened after there was no power as you guys heard me mention uh, We had no way of charging anything. So we had our phone our portable chargers and my camera was dead So I stopped recording So basically what happened was like we all were trying to get a flight home because our flight got canceled and Everybody was basically just trying to get a flight home like didn't matter what time it was like the earliest the better luckily my boo thing came through, bought me a ticket for that Monday. So, I mean, it was Wednesday, but the ladies there in Puerto Rico were all helping us trying to get a flight. So, shout out to them, bro. Shout out to Puerto Rico, all them, like, 
for taking care of us, everything, putting us in a shelter, feeding us, giving us a little bed to stay, like, for real, like, huge shout out to them, like, forever grateful, and everything was just a huge experience, like, for real, to so even go through a hurricane and all that, like, I never experienced that, and it's, it was crazy, because everything happened so fast, everybody was just trying to go home, everybody was like, dude, this is crazy, and nobody wanted to be stuck there for another week or like another four days. Luckily, the ladies there were like, hey, they were helping us like trying to get different flights for our airlines. So they were asking our airlines. And then luckily Monday came and they were saying like, hey, the airport's back open. Maybe you guys can get a flight back. So we all went back to the airport trying to get the earliest flight. Thankfully, I was able to get a flight on Monday that next day because the lady at the desk helped me out so much and huge shout out to her man huge shout out to her like mi amor saved my life she saved got me home bro got me home so huge shout out to her but yeah man it was just it was a crazy experience like everything was just happening so fast yet so slow it, like it was just so crazy like crazy experience but um yeah, prayers go out to, to Puerto Rico, man, because a lot of shit got destroyed due to the hurricane, which is unfortunate, and it was just crazy to see everything, but, yeah, man, this shit, this shit was just sad, but, you know, thankfully, everybody made it home safe, the whole squad, some came the next day, some came on Wednesday, so, you know, everybody got home, but I was the first one home, but, yeah man she was an experience and uh if you guys made it all the way to the end huge shout out to you guys i appreciate you guys so much for watching the video and if you guys did make it to the end leave a comment what you guys think about the vlog like you guys enjoy these kind of vlogs the little trips and all that i don't know let me know but if you guys like i said if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button if you guys are new hit the subscribe button but this has been your boy eddie and i'm out